Hello, I'm Dan, and this is my tour of an inside cabin on board Ambassador's first ship, Ambience. In this cabin tour, we're going to be showing you around cabin 10125, which is classed as a superior single inner. Having looked around a superior twin inner cabin, I can assure you that there is no difference in the amenities and facilities you get in both grades of cabin. I'm not entirely sure why you get two single beds in a single inside cabin. It would be nice if they could at least pop the beds together and give a single passenger the luxury of sleeping in a double bed. They are paying a 60% supplement after all. On to the tour. Inside cabins have a total surface area of around 17 square metres, which is around 190 square feet. This is plenty of space particularly for a solo traveller, and sufficient enough for two people. Inside cabins feature twin beds which can be converted into a queen size. The beds were pretty comfortable, but lacked the firmness some people may like in a mattress. You can expect a two single bedside units consisting of four shallow drawers, suitable for underwear and smaller items, however no bedside reading lamps like you do in the outside and balcony cabins, which is a shame. You also have a decent sized writing desk and vanity unit featuring four shallow drawers, a bedside reading light, a phone, tea and coffee making facilities, and you have a British and American plug socket, in addition to a USB port. Adjacent to the desk, you have a hairdryer on the bulkhead and a full-size vanity mirror. All cabins come with a pretty dated and small LCD TV. Ambassador's website says you get a flat screen TV for all your entertainment needs, but that is some exaggeration. The TVs are the most basic in the industry. There is no access to movies on demand, streaming services such as Netflix, the picture quality is very low res and there is no interactivity whereby you can book short excursions, check your balance and order room service, like you can with most cruise lines. You get a handful of news channels, a couple of channels which play a limited number of films on a loop and a very blurred image of the ship's folksall from the bridge. Now I understand none of us go on a holiday to watch TV, but in an age where you could be forced to self-isolate, it's nice to know there is a decent TV facility there if we need it. Storage is pretty generous in these cabins, with an open wardrobe to hang your clothes and leave your shoes. You also have the shelf above to store your cases or any other items you require. Next to it you have the full cupboard and drawer unit. At the top you have a cupboard which has a shelf and a digital safe and below you have a decent number of shallow drawers which is just enough depth to store trousers, shorts etc. We now come on to the bathroom and yes it is very dated. Ambassador have done nothing in the bathrooms apart from change the soap and give you a new shower curtain. You get a wash basin with foam tap, a couple of glasses to keep your toothbrush and toothpaste, a shaver plug socket, three mirrors, two of which have cupboards behind them with some shelving, and you get a large shower by cruise ship standards. The water was discharged at a decent pressure and temperature, however I'm not a fan of shower curtains, but that is a personal preference. Inside cabins also come with a small fridge, however no mini bar, which seems like a waste of an opportunity to make some extra money, and I'm sure most people would like the idea of having a mini bar in the cabin in case they wake up thirsty in the night. So that was my tour of an inside cabin on board Ambience. But let me first outline the positives. All inside cabins, regardless whether they're single or twins, feature a generous amount of storage. We're clean and comfortable, and cabins are well appointed to a degree. Now the negatives. The cabin is tired, there's no question. The carpet is worn and crying out to be replaced, as are the faded pictures on the bulkhead. Fixtures and fittings look well past their prime, and it would be nice if Ambassador could put beds together in single cabins. Also give passengers a stocked mini bar and look at providing passengers with an interactive TV like their rivals. If they did this, maybe we could buy their premium value slogan. While the cabins remain in this condition, premium isn't an adjective we wish to use in relation to this company. If you're somebody that goes on a cruise and you just see your cabin as a place to sleep and you're not bothered whether a cabin is tired and dated, then you probably won't have an issue. But if you're like us that sailed with many different cruise lines and you know what your money can get you, then you'll look at these cabins and feel like you've been overcharged, and you could have something much nicer and better for your money. Would you be happy to stay in this cabin? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. The suites on board Ambience are freshly renovated and have a much nicer and more modern theme. I just hope that Ambassador continue that theme throughout the lower grades of cabins on board and quick. If you have found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future cruise content. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.